What's up, Royals? We are so glad that you are with us. Right now, we are in our dining hall. This is our main area for, for eating for students, faculty, and staff. And joining me this morning, we have our food service director, Brenda Christian. Good morning. We're so glad that you're with us. I'm gonna ask her a few questions um, to help you as you prepare. Uh, there's lots of things that creative dining does for our community, and we want you guys to know about that before you get here. So Brenda, um, we want to get to know the dining services. We want to help our students as they're preparing. Can you tell us about the dining options that we have here in the dining hall? Absolutely. So here in the dining hall, we have several options for you to choose from. So we will have an area, it's called Taqueria, which is like a um, home style type Mexican concept. Mm -hmm. We'll have our home style area, which is going to be more your comfort food. Um, I know the students really love the fried chicken, mashed potatoes, um, that kind of food you'll find there. We also have an area uh, for students who have problems with allergies, it's called the zone, and we'll go into that more in detail later. But um, we have our pizza. This year we're going to roll out sub sandwiches, so that's mm -hmm. something new to the dining area. Um, we've had to move some things around a little bit. We have an interaction station where before students could go and there was a different entree each day. Um, this year we're going to put in a baked potato bar soup we'll have two different flavors of soup each day and then we'll have a salad bar there that you will just instruct the person what salad to make for you and they'll pass it off to you that's a that's a lot of awesome options you're making me hungry already this <laughs> morning, but it's all good now we know that there are a couple of different options when it comes to meal plans would you mind um, explaining um, how students pay for meals and what options they have in that way? Absolutely. Okay, so you have at least four different meal plans to choose from. You've mm -hmm. got the gold plan, which is 19 meals a week. You've got the silver plan, which is 14 meals a week. Then you have the Holland plan, um, which is seven meals a week. And those all can be purchased through the business office. Mm -hmm. Then we have the commuter plan, which is also purchased at the business office. So that was a little bit different. It's seven, no, it's 10 meals for $70. And that only, uh, it goes through the entire semester. So the other meal plans expire, the meals expire each week. You have to use them up or you lose them where the commuter plan, you do not lose that at all. And they can be used either here, the main dining hall, or you have the opportunity to use all meal plans over in the union which is our retail area. We have sandwiches and wraps. Um, this year we're gonna have paninis there. Um, yeah, so it's kind of like you go in, grab a sandwich, get a Starbucks drink, and you know, you can head out real quickly. Where the main dining hall is more of an all-you-can-eat option. So it just depends on how busy you are or you know what you're looking for in that day. That's awesome. Sounds like you have options for people who want to grab and go and yep. people who want to sit and enjoy um, just some time of uh, socialization and eating. And for our commuter students, please hear that this dining hall is for you also, okay? You have the Absolutely. option of getting a meal plan and we want you to take advantage of that. Um, how do I now, um, how do I know what's being served in the dining hall? Can, okay. you, can you help us understand that? Yeah. We had something new that rolled out in January. It's our Eatable app. Awesome. So what we do is we load the menu on there on Saturday. So on Sunday, for that entire week, you will be able to see what is offered in the main dining mm -hmm. hall. Um, the union, where the retail is, that's basically the same food you know, every week. But the main dining hall, you can look and see no, maybe I want to eat on campus if you're a commuter student on Wednesday because that's, you know, when we're having fried chicken or, you know, there's a specialty pizza this week and, you know, so I want to eat on campus. Awesome. Make sure you download the Eatable app, folks. It will be very beneficial to you. Now, Brenda, we know that um, 
We serve a lot of different students here. They have a lot of different dietary needs. Could you speak into um, the type of training the staff receives to know how to handle the different dietary needs that students may have? Absolutely. All of our staff goes through allergen training. So they are all aware of the different allergens that may be in food. And we have the leadership team that will go through Sur Safe Allergen Certification. So those people that are responsible for making sure, you know, the menus are what they are and the food is what it is when it comes out. Sweet. Now let's say I was an incoming freshman and I, I wanted to, you know, in addition to reading all of the materials you guys provide for us, um, wanting to talk to someone about the menu options or if I have questions about particular dishes, who do students come to for those conversations? Well, you can come to myself, now you know who I am. <laughs> um, or you can come to our chef. We have Chef Anthony here and he is happy to answer any of those questions. If you have a special request, please let him know. He's very good about catering to the students. Mm -hmm. That's awesome, that's awesome. And I will tell you, they are very kind people and they're always wanting to talk to our students. So thank you for that. Brenda, um, how do we know which allergens are in certain dishes? Absolutely. So I brought this along as a little visual aid for the new students. Um, this is from our homestyle area. So on this particular day, we had the country fried steak. And so as you can see, there's little icons here for each allergen. So awesome. this one here is the wheat, then this is milk or dairy, um, egg, and this strange little thing is soy. So anyone that has an allergen um, to wheat, milk, egg, or soy, they definitely do not want to eat the country fried steak or the mac and cheese, unfortunately, because it is awesome. Um, fries, pay attention to that. Some fries that we get in are coated with wheat, so sometimes you'll see a sign there, the fries have wheat, sometimes they don't, it just depends. Fresh vegetables, they're allergen free. The um, vegetable and basil orzo, that is allergen free, at least from the top eight allergens. Awesome, that, that is awesome information to have on hand for students and everybody. Um, should I let dining services know if I have any food allergies and how do I do this? Absolutely. So what you'll want to do, we have this little form and I believe this is going to be sent to you in an email. So it's our allergenic guest form. So you'll want to fill this out and get it back to us. And again, it shows the icons here. So here's the milk, wheat, fish, soy, egg, peanut, shellfish, tree nut, and then other. If you have an allergy to something other than what's on here, let's say you have an allergy to strawberries, I've heard that one before, or tomatoes, you will definitely want to fill this out and get this back to us because we don't identify those allergens. Um, people have so many allergens to different things, we couldn't possibly, I mean, the menu would be way too big. But if we have this form on hand, we can cater meals to you. We can let you know when you come in, you just ask to see us or one of the chefs, and they will let you know if you know there's tomatoes in something or if there's strawberries in one of the desserts. So this is definitely a must for our um, freshman students. And then on the other side, we also have the icons larger there for you to see in color. Sweet. One last question, Brenda, if you could just um, give us a little information about the hours of the dining hall um, for students as they're getting prepared to come here and know when they can and can't eat. Yes. Well, and this year it's going to be a little different for you. Last year we were open from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m., so it was um, continuous dining. Well, this year, because of what's going on, we need to restrict the dining just a little bit. So there's gonna be a few changes coming out on that. But um, for breakfast, you would have a hot breakfast from 7.30 till 9.30. And then lunch, you're gonna have hot lunch from 11 to uh, one o'clock. And then dinner is 4.30 until seven. 
Now, we may have to extend the hours a bit, depend on dining room capacity yeah. now. Not having as many um, students in the dining room, we are taking all of the CDC regulations mm -hmm. into um, consideration when filling the dining room with students. We want to still keep you safe. We are looking at um, possibly a mobile app where you may be able to order food mm -hmm. and um, pick it up. Now the union, that'll still be open, so there might be an option there for you to go and eat. They are open longer hours, um, I believe until 9 or 10 p.m. So there will definitely be enough time to get it, and anything that we have to adjust, we're going to compensate in another way, you know, possibly the mobile app or box awesome. meals for students. Awesome. You won't go hungry. <laughs> yeah, no, you won't. Um, students, uh, we hope that this information uh, will be helpful to you and your parents as you prepare. Brenda, we want to thank you for sharing this with us. Um, we are getting prepared for you guys. And parents, you need to know your child will never go hungry. They can yes. eat more than just ice cream, even though it is yes. the best. So take care, Royals. We can't wait to see you, and we hope you have a great day. God bless. See you soon.